Welcome to M2 Hockey and Hockey Share. We're going to go over some uh, basic crossovers today. We're going to talk about some of the different things to look for when you're trying to teach the actual crossover technique. The crossover is such an important aspect of our game. Uh, everything from your basic turning to acceleration coming out of another turn or a stop. Uh, crossovers play a huge part in, in everything we do in the game. So the way we're going to break it down is we're going to break it down into three L's. We're going to look, we're going to lead, we're going to leverage. So starting with the look, we want to make sure that we're looking into our turn. So you, so you got your head up, you can see the ice, you can see what's coming at you. Okay, so as you go around, make sure your head kind of is the first thing that's going to bring you around the turn. Next is lead, and what I mean by lead is you're taking your stick and you're going to actually make it lead you around that circle. And what we're, what we're doing inadvertently there is we're bringing our shoulders and we're opening our shoulders into that turn. So now I've got my head and my shoulders turned, so up and my stick, I've got two hands on my stick, is now leading the way. So look, lead, and the third one is leverage. And all leverage is, is taking the hips, bringing them into your turn as well. Once your hips are turned in, you're gonna leverage your feet. So your feet are gonna come around with it. So we're looking, we're turning, okay, and we're leveraging. A couple key points to look for with the shoulders, don't let your shoulders dip. It's a very common mistake. If you see your kids starting to, to dip their shoulders when you're doing these, have them put their stick out here so that when they lead, okay, their stick's still leading, but now it's real easy to tell if they're tipping one way or the other. Keep the shoulders parallel to the ice. Um, the next thing to look at is what you're actually, when you're stepping over, and we'll do a slow-mo in a little bit of this, when you step over for a crossover, the first part of your skate to hit the ice needs to be the ball of your foot, so the toe of your blade. A lot of kids, they'll stand up, but come out of their hockey stance, and they're gonna put their heel down into the ice first. It's a big mistake, lose all your stability, lose a lot of balance, okay? So make sure they're looking and they're stepping, and they step with the toe of their skate. Here's what it's gonna look like. Now as we break the crossover down a little bit further, you want to make sure that your kids are actually getting two pushes. You're getting a push from the inside edge of your outside foot, but you're also getting a push from the outside edge of your inside foot. Okay? So when you go, you should hear two distinct sounds, kind of like this. The only way you're going to get those pushes is if you put, take the toe of your skate and you dig it into the ice. And that goes for the inside and the outside edge. So really flick that toe out to get that push off, just like you would in a stride. Two common mistakes that I see all the time is kids will do the crossovers around a circle, but they won't actually step over their feet. They'll actually be stepping kind of right, one right in front of each other and they're really getting no leverage. They're really getting no cross and push. So here's a drill that's just going to show you a real easy way to help alleviate that. And essentially, we're gonna go into our crossed position and we're gonna glide it around the circle. So it's gonna force the kids to get comfortable in that position with their feet completely crossed over. Here's what it looks like. Two quick things to also watch for while, while you're teaching the circles or basic crossovers. Uh, number one is a lot of kids, especially when they're learning, they have a tendency to watch their feet. They'll, so their head will go straight down, looking straight at their feet. What it inadvertently does is it brings this chest forward. OK? 
okay? So it's all of a sudden gonna pull you outside of your stance. You wanna make sure that the chest stays up, butt stays down, okay? Good, good solid hockey stance, so don't let them look at their feet. Uh, the other thing is changing their levels when they're going. You'll see a lot of kids, when they go to step, will actually stand up a little bit. So they're coming in and out of their position. Hockey is really a game about directing your energy. So we want to push our energy the direction we're going. If we're standing up, our energy is going straight up. So we don't want to waste energy. We want to be very efficient. Okay. So make sure they're staying at a level. Uh, one, one technique I found that works is you hold your stick out. You have a couple coaches hold their stick at the same level and you make sure the kids stay underneath that level. So uh, essentially you're forcing them to get actually a little bit lower than what they're comfortable with. All right, so that wraps up our basic overview of a crossover. If you have any questions, email them to me at kevin at hockeyshare.com or leave a comment on the HockeyShare blog. See you next time at HockeyShare and M2Hockey.